Today, we will be tasting four tequilas from the 1800 range. Yes. Uh, so what have we got today? We got four tequila from 1800, which is a brand that's getting a little bit of a very good uh, reputation, good write-up. Obviously, from the name, uh, they've been established since the 1800. They were the first tequila distillery to actually age their tequila in barrel. Yeah. What have we got? So 100% blue agave. Yeah. And the first bottle is the Blanco. Yeah. Um, I think the best way to talk about these tequilas is to actually yeah, taste let's them. Yeah, let's taste it. Yeah. As you can see, it's clear. Okay, so this is unaged. Yeah, unaged. Yeah? Yeah. This is the purest expression of tequila. So if you're a tequila aficionado, uh, that's where you should start. Really to really appreciate the style. But let's have a sniff. <laughs> I'm scared. I am not a tequila person in general, but the tequilas that we've tasted here so far in yeah. winery, they sort of have converted me. So let's try. So the first thing is it's not really burning your nose so much so the alcohol no. is really, really settled so it's smooth like a spicy yeah, note pe to peppery, it peppery maybe yeah. white pepper uh, yeah. almost like a green apple or pear fruitiness so let's what, talk about notes what yeah. are we getting so it's quite citrusy in a way um, citrusy quite lemony mm. uh, but what i really am getting is the pepper yeah the yeah. white pepper. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, very white peppery, and the creaminess about it. It's actually quite, quite smooth. Obviously, we recommend letting it breathe in your mouth a little Correct. bit. How would you enjoy this tequila? Yeah. Good question. Yeah. So with this kind of tequila, it's it's the most versatile one. So that's the one you want to be using for your margaritas, your Tommy's margaritas, your Paloma cocktail. So something you can add fruit, sweetness. It's the most versatile. So yeah, uh, for me, my drink of choice will always be. Tommy's Margarita, so that's lime juice, agave syrup, tequila, shaken, served on the rocks. Very nice. So after the Blanco, we are going to try uh, the Reposado. Yeah, Reposado, yeah. So Reposado uh, in Spanish means rested, like the name suggests. This one is six months age in French and American oak barrel, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And you can see, this has color. I yeah. poured Matthew quite a lot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks, uh, I'm being very, very nice generous. Yeah. yeah, So like a toffee color to it. Ooh, and yeah. also, there is a certain sweetness yeah. that I didn't get in the Blanco earlier. It's not too rich, not too full. No, but definitely I can tell that this is softer. Anything yeah. that you age in oak, I suppose, just like wine, actually softens a little bit. So I smell that. Let's see if we taste it also. Yeah. Definitely, there is sweetness. Mm. There is sweetness there. It's also it feels a little bit more. It has viscosity on the palate. Mm, a bit more mellow down there. Yes, yeah. definitely. It's always a style that I personally it's my favorite style because it's in between really the pure uh, pure expression mm. of the tequila and the very aged one. So I've always liked this style. And I also get like a toasted hazelnut yeah, aftertaste, yeah. toffee, toffee at the end. But still there's yeah. some fruits. Yeah. Uh, so how would you enjoy this? This one I think you can you can use for, personally I would make a tequila negroni. Um, so you replace gin with tequila and then it's Campari and sweet vermouth, equal measure. But because this one is still fresh and still fruity and not too rich and heavy, I would probably think a negroni cocktail would be, would be very nice. This is shaped this way because it it actually sort of represents uh, Mayan architecture. Yeah. It's like trapezoidal, you know, like those pyramids. Um, very, very nice to look at. Sometimes people like to buy bottles, just like me, yeah, this because really, of how they look. <laughs> this really looks very nice on your bar shelf exactly. at home, on a, like a wine cabinet. So, yeah. Yeah. This is Añejo. Añejo. Yeah. Añejo. So what is Añejo? Aged tequila for this patch plant between 12 and 14 months, aging in a mix of American and French oak barrel. The color is a lot more deeper, caramel yeah, yeah, caramelized, yeah. and and you also get yeah. I don't know if it's just the power of the color suggesting suggesting to me that it's going to smell sweet, but there's a lot of caramel notes. Yeah, brown sugar. Yeah, caramel, burnt sugar. Yeah. It's sort woody. of yeah, very woody. Um, I'm actually looking forward to tasting it just because I like how it smells. Yeah. I get the wood <laughs> on the palate, yeah. Most like coconut wood, yeah. Yes. Coconut tea, yeah. the American oak barrel, I believe, yeah. And yeah. spice. Spice. Mm. But I have to say that it's also tempered by age, yeah. I suppose. The length of the finish in wine is the same here. This one is 
lingering, lingering, long finish, like um, doesn't come short. I think it would be a great one to treat almost like a brandy at the end of your meal. You know, you have the big heavy meal and you drink that neat on the rocks, like you would drink cognac, just to uh, digest. In a yeah, way. it's yeah. a digestive. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very nice, guys. Mm. We saved the best for last. So this is Cristalino. A lot of people are now beginning to get into tequila with yeah. this as their first. Yeah, lucky them. You know, <laughs> this is I a relatively new style. No, 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 especially, yeah. <laughs> so, Matthew, what is Cristalino style? It's new on the market, maybe a year or two. So it's an aged tequila that has been charcoal filtered to remove the, the color. Mm. So it looks like white tequila. It's a trap on the eyes because it <laughs> looks like a plata, a white, a blanco tequila. But it's actually very strong, very smooth, very sweet mm. and uh, very complex. But the, the color has just been removed by a charcoal filtration. So this is super premium. You can almost see with the bottle. So it should be quite exceptional. It's aged for 14 months, like the Anero, American and French, and then another six months in port barrel, port cask. So, I'm actually excited to taste this. Yeah. It smells very, on the nose, it's not spicy. I don't yeah. get the spice on the nose. It's very sweet, very round. Very mellow, yeah. yeah very yeah. mellow. It's more like a fruitiness. Mm. This is something I don't think you want to mess with. There's no heat. Huh? There's no. No, maybe we're getting used to it by now. I don't know, but there's no heat. Uh, it no. doesn't, it's so smooth. There's so, no sharpness yeah. to it. It's just, you know, very even keel. It's such a nice tequila. Very fruity. Yeah. And yeah. So this one, like you said, yeah, you don't want to mess around too much with this. Neat on the rocks. Maybe, maybe as an old fashioned style, like mm. a white old fashioned, uh, just with a bit of bitter and ice and sugar, uh, sugar syrup. That's it. All these four bottles are going to be available on the winery.ph website yeah. at 10% off. Yeah. Until, off, yeah. yeah, until the whole month. Uh, yeah. The whole month. Yeah. yeah. So make sure that you try and get them. Usually, these things they go very, very fast. Yeah. Um, and if I were to choose a favorite, I'm definitely going to go for the Cristalino. <laughs> yeah, I think me too. <laughs> it's a game changer. You should try that. Yeah. So there is a tequila for everybody from this range. So check it out on the winery.ph website. Until the next video, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment below. And be sure to hit the notification bell so that you never miss another video. Again, this is Chi. And I'm Eddie. Till the next drink. Cheers. Cheers.